Tim has found a repairer who might just be able to help with the 80 year old radiator. Finding a new replacement would be an impossibility, so it's all down to fixing the old one. Hello, mate. Hello, oh, mate. How are you doing? All good, thank you. You? Right, radiator, that is actually off a Morgan F4, 1934. Now, there is a slight problem with it, it's only a slight problem. The coring has come off the top here. Yeah, something like this is unmade. Right. And you're looking two to three week turnaround. I need to turn around to be like that. Uh, Done. Modern core, we can turn it around in two days for you. You can see the difference between a modern core, yeah. twice as many tubes, obviously machine made yeah. instead of handmade. Okay. Uh, so what is it? Is this copper? That, that's copper. Yeah. That, that's a copper construction. Okay. With steel tanks. So the idea is that the water flows through here yeah. and gets cooled down by the cold air rushing through the veins here. That's it, basically. Right. Yes. This is the bit that needs replacing. Yeah. So do we keep the cap we on keep, the bottom? We keep the original ports. Yeah. We keep your original tanks. Okay. Uh, totally strip it down, clean them up, basically sell the name. Yeah. Uh, and then start from scratch, rebuild it. You want one to show you? Yeah, why not? Yeah, certainly. By fitting the Morgan's old top and bottom tanks to a modern core, the repaired radiator will look exactly like a handmade original, but will be finished within Tim's time scale. It's skilled work, as Craig is about to demonstrate. You see it's starting to change colour now? Yeah. Once that's on, and run it right down into the tube plate to get your seal. Oh, I've got to try that. Where are we up to? Huh? Just up to here. OK, yeah. That's it. Yeah. See it start to run? Yeah. How am I doing? Not too bad at all. First attempt. Yeah. Do you want a job? Have I got one? <laughs> Check this out. Look at that. Isn't that stunning? Right, so what's that made of? Doesn't that actually look like polished, well, brushed aluminium? And no, it's not. It's actually paint. That is phenomenal. Right, let's slap it on. I'll tell you something, right? Fuzz has got it easy doing this mechanical stuff. He's in the heat, taking it easy. Hanging around with these gorgeous cars. Just want to see what it's going to look like, just for a bit of inspiration. I mean, look at that thing. That is just stunning. All right, job done. Radiator fitted. Since stealing it away, the boys have found this wooden frame car bereft of many of its 80 year old parts. And those that are still there are well past their sell by date, including the steering column, which seems to be mystifying both Tim and Fuzz. It's weird though this is, isn't it? I don't quite understand how it all works inside here. So, well, let's have a look. Come on in. One, two. One more. Last one there. I should try and pull that off. Okay, right. Okay, no so this yeah. way. So this is the steering column. Yeah. And I thought at first this was just going to be a solid straight through bar Absolutely. that goes through there. But what you've got is this little it's geared, little isn't it? Geared, it? Let's yeah, count little... the teeth on that. Let's see how many teeth you got okay. on there. Well, one, one, two, two three, four, five, six. I mean, Twenty. Twenty teeth. How many you got? Uh, ten. Right, so that's two to one. Two to one, yeah. So for every turn you get up there, we get half, half as many down there. Yeah. It's an epicyclic gear, basically. Yeah, that's exactly right. what it is. 